right guys, it's a new day for me, again. Um, my third day here. Already sucks. It's stupidly cold out. It was nice and warm yesterday. Didn't need a jacket and now it's freezing and windy. So I'm inside today with the door closed. Might be kicking on the heater soon. Um, and then to add on top of that, before I went home last night, <clears throat> My brake line let go, which I wanted to replace anyway because it's rusty pretty bad. So I wanted to replace it anyway, but it just sucks because now it's got fluid everywhere. And now I have to somehow take that off because it's all rusted on and figure out how far up it goes. Now I gotta bleed my brakes afterwards, so. Whatever, it is what it is, but it just sucks. Just another thing added onto the list that I have to do. But today I have open this. Today I brought the cleaning supplies. Here is the 415 degreaser. So I can go ahead and start degreasing everything. Just brought some rags to wipe shit down. But there's the poor 15 degreaser. And I also brought, I don't know how long that stuff takes to dry, but I also bought the, the metal prep. Also by poor 15. This is their metal prep that they have. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and got both of those all set and ready to go. And I went ahead and bought some paint brushes too. So that way when I do go ahead and start putting the pour 15 on, the rust prevention, it'll be good to go. But look at this brake fluid got everywhere. It just really sucks. I did all that cleaning yesterday and then that line blows and now I got brake fluid everywhere. And as you can see, there's a huge puddle of brake fluid and a little trail. Coming from where it was parked over here. Cause honestly I didn't feel like pushing it. So yeah, that's my work for today. I need to go ahead and I need to take that brake line off, get it out of the way. Um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and order a new one, but for now, I'm, I'm not really driving this, I honestly don't care, I don't need it right away, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the whole brake line down, figure out how that comes out, then uh, go ahead and start. Oh, I'm gonna have to get all this brake fluid off of everywhere. Uh, now once that's all off, I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping the whole thing down with that degreaser, and uh, I'm not sure how long it takes to dry, I'm gonna have to read up on that. And once that's all dried, I might leave, come back, do the metal prep, and like I said, I don't know how long it takes to dry. If it doesn't take long, then I might even start putting the, the rust prevention on tonight. Uh, at least do the first coat. Um, if it needs at least like a day to cure or something, then I'm just going to have to wait till tomorrow and come back to it to put that stuff on. Well, this should be fun. All right, so this is where I am so far. Um, pretty much have the brake line out. Can't really see it from this side. Let's go over here. So I pretty much have it out. Uh, I just have the end still on there for now. Oh, I'm going to even put a sock in and take that off afterwards. But uh, I went ahead and got as far as I could. There's some of the brake line right there. I got as far as I could. Um, I had to snip it right here. You can see right there because from there to about here-ish where the gas tank ends, I can't get behind it and there's a bracket holding it on. And that includes me in dropping the 
the fuel tank. But uh, when I get my uh, my new fuel, uh, my new brake line in tomorrow, um, I'll see if I can route it a different way. If I can, then I don't need to drop the fuel tank. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. But I cut it from there, and I cut it from there. So this is all out. It connects right there, that little box on the side of it. So from there, halfway is cut all out, and then the whole back half where it did break and where it was completely rusted is all out. So um, I did a little bit when I was underneath the front. I used the air needle again. I saw a couple little spots that I missed. So I went ahead and got that. And uh, I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and clean that brake fluid up a little bit more over there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way, might be pushing this outside and I'm going to use that uh, degreaser finally. Um, I got a spray bottle over there cleaned out right now waiting to go and uh, I'm going to go ahead and degrease the whole thing. So. Once that's all degreased, and I should be set. All right, so this is two days later from when I last recorded. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, I just focused on getting my brake line out and all set. Show you over here. Brand new brake line. All done, all running all the way back up to the front where it's supposed to be. So now I don't have no more rusty brake line that's gonna break on me. I should be good for a long time now. So yeah, that's all I really focused on yesterday was doing that and uh, just had some other stuff I had to do, but I didn't really work in my truck too much. Um, today it's finally a nice day out again, but I'm gonna be working on the inside because today I am going to start putting the Port 15 down. Everything is all set. Everything's all prepped. Um, everything's degreased and cleaned and ready to go. So, uh, still waiting on this piece to come in. I don't know when that's supposed to be here. But here's the port 15. <clears throat> I got it in the semi gloss black. Um, I just got some gloves over there so I don't get it on myself. I'm going to be painting it on. I just got some paintbrushes. Got four of them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it on. Uh, I mean, I could spray paint it. I have a, I have a gun to go ahead and shoot it with the paint, but I honestly don't feel like taping everything off, and it's just going to be a hassle. I've already taped things off once on my other car, and it sucks. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. Plus, it would suck trying to spray it underneath the truck, and it would just it would just be a hassle. It'd be okay for back here because it's not really too much to work with, but underneath and in the front, it would just be overspray everywhere. I just I don't want to deal with that. So I understand it's going to take me longer to actually paint it, but so be it if I don't have the truck for two three more days and I mean what does it matter it's already I already almost haven't had it for a week so I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting down this port 15 um, haven't decided whether I want to work from the back to the front or the front to the back yet probably just gonna work from the back to the front I don't know just figure it might be a little bit easier just to start getting into the painting groove and go ahead and start getting all this back here so I can actually see some, some product going down. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting everything down. Alright, so I'm done for the day. I went ahead and got the first coat on. It's dark out and I've been here all day. But the first coat is on got everywhere covered. Might be a little bit better to see like that, but covered everything, got the hitch, <coughs> all the springs, brakes, axles, 
Uh, everything's pump slots are a little wet. I went over a little bit. Um, but yeah, all underneath the whole frame, all the way down, all the cab mounts. Uh, the only thing I didn't touch um, is the upper and lower control arm because uh, I am putting uh, adjustable ones on, so I'm not messing with that. Um, and I didn't touch the springs because when I replace my shocks, I'm just going to pull them out and paint them that way. Um, like I said, this was just the first coat, so you can see like, there's some spots that I missed here and there, but this is just the first coat. Um, I got pretty much 90, 99% of it's all covered and protected, and now I just need to come back tomorrow after it dries and go ahead and throw a second coat on it, but it won't be as bad because most of it's already all covered, so when I go ahead and throw a second coat on, I should be good. So yeah, I'm done for the day. Turn this light off. I'm done for the day. Truck should be good, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.